Alright guys, so bago natin ipagpatuloy yung mga lecture natin about stoichiometry of fluid combustion, let us have a short review about balancing equations. But since uh, we are discussing about combustion reaction, so let us have a quick review kung paano magbalance ng mga combustion reactions. Okay, so natutunan natin sa ating previous video that our product is carbon dioxide, water, or SO2, right? So, normally, ang mga fuels na ginagamit natin are hydrocarbon. So, let's say we have carbon and hydrogen. But sometimes, yung mga fuel natin meron ding oxygen. And then, katulad nung natutunan natin, it is reacting with oxygen to produce CO2 and water. Okay? So, this is what we have kapag meron tayong complete combustion. And of course, kapag meron tayong sulfur dito, we will have SO2. And then, kapag incomplete ang ating combustion, we will have CO here. But on this video, we are just going to cover yung balancing combustion reaction ng complete combustion. Okay, so there are three steps na dapat nating sundin. First, we have to balance the carbon atoms. And then, we will balance the hydrogen. And the third is to balance the oxygen. Okay, so magbigay tayo ng example. So first example, let's say our fuel is methane, CH. Four, and then it is reacting with oxygen, forming carbon dioxide and water. Okay, so sabi natin we have to balance yung carbon first. So we have one is to one ng carbon dito, so wala tayo masyadong gagawin, no? They are balanced. Next is to balance the hydrogen. So we have four hydrogen here and we only have two hydrogen here. So therefore, para mabalance natin yan, we need to add. 2 as our coefficient. Then finally, ibabalance natin yung ating oxygen. So ilang oxygen meron tayo dito sa CO2? We have 2. And dito naman sa water, we have 1 times 2 will be 2. So therefore, ang total oxygen natin is 4. And then we have only 2 oxygen dito sa ating reactant. So we need to have additional to here. So, 2 times 2 will be 4. So, ngayon, balance na yung ating equation. So, ganun lang yun, guys. So, unahin natin yung carbon, and then hydrogen, and then oxygen. So, another example. Let's say we have pentane, C5H12. So, this will react with oxygen, forming carbon dioxide and water. Okay? So, Balance muna natin yung carbon. So, we have 5 carbon here. We only have 1 here. So, we will put 5 here. So, next is to balance yung hydrogen. We have 12 here and only 2 here. So, 12 divided by 2 will be 6. So, we will have 6 in here. So, balance na yung ating carbon. Balance na yung ating hydrogen. So, now, ibabalance natin is yung ating oxygen. So, ilang oxygen meron tayo dito? 5 times 2 is 10. And then, 6 times 1 will be 6. Okay, so, so ilan ang total oxygen natin dito? 10 plus 6 will be 16. And then, meron lang tayo ditong 2. So, we will have 16 divided by 2 will be 8. Diba? So, that means we need to have 8 in our oxygen. So, now, as you can see, balance na ang ating mga components. So, we have carbon here which is equal to 5. Our hydrogen here is equal to 12. And our oxygen here is equal to 16. Ganun din naman dito. We have carbon, which is equal to 5. Hydrogen, which is equal to 12. 6 times 2 will be 12. And our oxygen is equal to 16. Okay? So, balance na yung ating equation. Now, let's say we have... C8H18. This will react with oxygen, forming carbon dioxide and water. 
right? So, balance natin yung carbon, katulad nung ginawa natin kanina. No? So, we have 8 carbon here. We only have 1 here, so I'll put 8 here. Next is to balance yung hydrogen. We have 18 here, and we only have 2 here. So, we will have 18 divided by 2 will be 9. So, balance na yung ating carbon and hydrogen, di ba? So, ngayon, ibabalance natin is yung ating oxygen. So, ilang oxygen meron tayo dito? 8 times 2 will be 16. Dito naman, 9 times 1 will be 9. So, 16 plus 9 will be 25, di ba? So, ang total oxygen natin dito is 25. Okay, so, so, 25 is not really divisible by 2. So, therefore, we will have a fraction here. We will have... Uh, medyo burahin ko to, no, para lumuwag yung ating space. So, we will have here a fraction. So, ang fraction natin will be 25 over 2. So, that if we multiply it by 2, may iwan sa atin is yung 25. Alright? This will work, no, sa mga calculation natin. But normally, in chemistry, we are simplifying this kasi dapat wala tayong fraction. So, what are we going to do is to multiply everything by 2. Okay? So, we will be multiplying our whole equation by 2. Okay? So, how are we going to do that? So, we have 2 times C8H18. So, we will have 2 C8H18 plus 25 over 2 times 2 will be 25. So, we have 25 O2, forming 8 times 2 will be 16, CO2, plus 9 times 2 will be 18, H2O. So, yan ang ating final answer. So, i-check natin kung balance ba talaga yung sagot natin. So, ilang carbon meron tayo rito? 8 times 2 is 16. Ilang hydrogen meron tayo? 18 times 2 is equal to 36, no? And then, oxygen is equal to 25 times 2, which is 50. So, i-check natin dito sa ating product. Ilang carbon meron tayo? 16 times 1 is 16. Ilang hydrogen meron tayo? 18 times 2 is equal to 36. And then, ang oxygen natin is equal to 16 times 2 will be 32. Plus, 18 times 1 will be 18. So, our oxygen is equal to 32 plus 18 will be equal to 50. So, balance yung ating mga components, no? So, let us have another example. Number 4. Let us say we have a butane. So, our butane is C4H10 will be reacting with oxygen forming CO2 and water. Okay? So, una, ibabalance muna natin yung carbon. So, we have 4 carbon here. So, we sh should have 4 here. Then, is to balance yung hydrogen. We have 10 here and only 2 here. So, 10 divided by 2 will be 5. And then, ibabalance natin yung oxygen natin. No? So, ilang oxygen meron tayo dito? 4 times 2 is 8. And in here, 5 times 1 is 5. So, therefore, ang total oxygen natin is 13. Ba? So, again, 13 is not divisible by 2. So, magkakaroon tayo ng fraction dito. So, we will have 13 over 2. So, in order to um, remove yung ating fraction, we will multiply everything by 2. Okay? So, doing that, we will have C4H10 times 2. So, we will have 2 C4H10. Plus, 13 over 2 times 2 will be 13 O2. Producing 4 times 2 will be 8. So, 8 CO2. Plus, 5 times 2 will be 10 H2O. Okay? So, yan ang ating balanced reaction. So, i-check natin ulit. Balance ba? Ilang carbon meron tayo sa ating reactant? 4 times 2 will be 8. Hydrogen is equal to 10 times 2 will be 20. And oxygen is equal to 13 times 2 will be 26. And dito naman sa right side, ilang carbon meron tayo? 1 times 8 will be 8. Hydrogen is equal to 10 times 2 will be 20. And oxygen is equal to 
a times 2 will be 16 plus 10 uh, times 1 will be 10. Okay, so therefore our oxygen is equal to 16 plus 10 will be 26. Okay, so balance ang ating mga components dito. Now let us have another example. So our fifth example. Let's say meron tayong oxygen sa ating reactant. No? So we have C2 H5OH. So this will react with oxygen to form carbon dioxide and water. So sabi natin, we need to balance yung carbon first, di ba? So ilang carbon meron, meron tayo dito? It's 2. So dito isa lang, so we need 2 here. And then we will balance our hydrogen. Ilang hydrogen meron tayo? 5 plus 1 will be 6. Diba? E eh, meron lang tayo ditong 2. So, 6 divided by 2 will be 3. So, balance na yung ating carbon and hydrogen. Now, kailangan nating i-balance is yung oxygen. So, ilang oxygen meron tayo dito? 2 times 2 will be 4. And 3 times 1 will be 3. So, ilan ang oxygen natin? This is equal to 7. Alright? So, ngayon, alam natin na kailangan natin ng 7 oxygen dito sa reactant. Now, 7 is not divisible by 2. Kaya lang, meron tayong isa pang oxygen dito. So, therefore, we will subtract itong oxygen natin dito. So, 7 minus 1 will be 6. Okay? So, therefore, ang uh, magiging coefficient natin dito is 6 over 2, which is 6 divided by 2 will be 3. Kaya, ang magiging coefficient natin dito is 3. So, as you can see, now we have a balance Reaction. So, check natin kung tama ba yung ating reaction. No? So, we have carbon, which is equal to 2. Hydrogen, which is equal to 5 plus 1 will be 6. And our oxygen is equal to 1 plus 6. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 will be 7. So, dito sa ating product, carbon is equal to 2. Hydrogen is equal to 3 times 2 will be 6. And our oxygen is equal to 2 times 2 will be 4 plus 3 times 1 will be 3. So our oxygen is equal to 4 plus 3 will be 7. So balance na ang ating reaction, di ba? So ganun lang yung guys, kapag may oxygen ang ating fuel, you need to subtract that oxygen. So let's have our final example here. So let's say we have, uh, anong number na ba tayo? Number 6. So, let's say we have uh, C3H7OH plus oxygen producing CO2 and water. Okay? So, balance natin yung ating carbon. We have 3 carbon here and we only have 1 here. So, we'll put 3. Balance natin ang ating hydrogen. We have 7 here and 1 here. So, therefore, we will have 8, no? So, 8 ang ating hydrogen but we only have 2 here so we will have 4. So, balance na yung ating carbon and hydrogen and now, ibabalance natin yung oxygen. So, ilang oxygen meron tayo dito? 3 times 2 will be 6 and dito naman, 4 times 1 will be 4. So, therefore, our total oxygen is 6 plus 4 will be 10. Okay. Now, katulad ng ginawa natin kanina, we will subtract yung oxygen dito. So, ang matitara sa atin is... 9. Okay? So, 9 is not divisible by 2. So, we will have a fraction here. 9 over 2. So, okay yan. It will work. However, in chemistry, we are removing the denominator. Now, we will not have a fraction in our coefficient. So, therefore, we will multiply everything by 2. Okay? So, what will be our answer here? So, 2 times 1 will be 2. So, we will have 2 C3H7OH plus 9 over 2 times 2 will be 9. So, we have 9O2 producing 3 times 2 will be 6. So, 6CO2 plus 4 times 2 will be 8H2O. So, we have a balanced reaction in here. No? So, i-check natin kung balance na nga ba siya. So, Sa ating reactant, ilang carbon meron tayo? 3 times 2 will be 6. Ilang hydrogen meron tayo? 7 times 2 
will be 14 plus uh, 2 times 1 will be 2. So our hydrogen here is equal to 16 and our oxygen is equal to 2 times 1 will be 2 plus 9 times 2, 18. So our oxygen is 20. So tignan natin dito sa ating product, ilang carbon meron tayo? 6 times 1 will be 6. Hydrogen is equal to 8 times 2 will be 16. And our oxygen is equal to 6 times 2 will be 12 plus 8 times 1 will be 8. So therefore, our oxygen is equal to 12 plus 8 which is 20. So balance ang ating reaction. So ganun lang ang pagbabalance natin ng mga combustion reaction guys. So we just need to follow yung ibinigay nating sequence kanina. You will balance first the carbon and then you will balance the hydrogen and then you will balance yung ating oxygen. So in our next video, we're going to solve another complete combustion. Then we are going to define kung ano yung empirical formula ng ating combustion fuel. So with all of that and more, I will see you in our next video.